never gets old, does it? <laughs> no! Welcome to Dave McDonald's Saturday Morning How to Draw Cartoons. <laughs> I'm glad you're with me. <laughs> I, you must be uh, one of my biggest fans if you keep tuning in to watch these silly videos. I know a couple of fans <clears throat> who shall remain nameless who... Uh, they're such big fans that if I forget to post my video on time, I hear about it. Oh, I hear about it. You're late. You're late. <laughs> I love to have fans that are that passionate about these videos, drawing, and having fun. So let's get started for today. We're going to, ooh, let's start with last week's drawing. I colored it. Run! <laughs> Very timely at this time of year. November, big Thanksgiving coming up here in America, where we often have <clears throat> shh, turkey. <laughs> Don't tell anyone. And we drew a little turkey on the run. So that's our, that's our drawing from last week. Did you draw yours from last week? <laughs> Did you have fun drawing yours? Now I drew mine kind of realistically with the brown feathers, but you could have used any color you want. Now, the only thing I wasn't sure of, because I've never seen a turkey in the wild, I wasn't sure if they wore red sneakers or blue sneakers. So maybe you can uh, find out for me and let me know, okay? <laughs> red sneakers or blue sneakers. All right, for today we're going to draw a character that I just made a coloring sheet of. And I made a coloring sheet for my website. And this is something that you can download for free. Uh, I don't think that's against YouTube's policies, um, but hopefully if, if it is, then we'll fix this video. But it's just a free uh, coloring sheet that I have on my website under the resources tab. And I thought I'd draw the character here for you today and then show you what the coloring page looks like. All right. His name is Reading Carrot. Yes. <laughs> Reading Carrot. And he starts with, if you have your pencil and paper... A simple shape, a triangle. Imagine that. That's kind of the basic shape of a carrot, isn't it? Sure it is. So we'll give him that basic shape again if you keep if you're keeping track of how Mr. Dave draws his characters. I always start off with my pencil and lightly sketch in some of the uh, basic shapes that I'll need and all the details and then later I go in and make them complete by using uh, ink pens. And then I erase my pencil, right? Penciling, inking, and erasing. Pi, P-I-E spells pi. That's what I usually, in my school programs I teach, penciling, inking, and erasing, pi. And it's pi so you can easily remember it. All right, so here's our triangle, the basic shape of a carrot. And the carrot has a big, well, they have big leaves on the top that. If you've ever grown them in a garden, typically you'd only see the top part of the leaves coming out of the garden, out of the carrot. So it's got a little, maybe a little bit of a stem, but then it kind of, it goes in a big fluffy, you could do curly lines and make a big fluffy, almost like a hairdo. But I'm going to do this, something like that. Almost like a big cloud on top of his head, right? but it's just leaves, all right? The indication of leaves, all right? Two eyeballs, oval shape, oval shape. Now, he's wearing glasses, which if you think about it, <laughs> why? I thought carrots were supposed to be good for your vision. Why would a carrot be wearing glasses? I don't know, I just think it's funny. <laughs> So with glasses, we have these uh, stems poking out from the side, from the glasses, from the frames. And inside of the glasses, of course, we have the pupils, circles. And when we ink that, we'll leave a little white spot for a reflection. All right. So we've got ovals, the stem of the glasses, maybe some curved lines for eyebrows. All right. Uh, a big smile, curve line, and we'll open up that mouth by doing this. 
Open up the mouth like the letter U underneath that curved line. And reading carrot has one front tooth like that. All right. And let's see. He has two legs that come down. So start with some straight lines or maybe a slightly curved lines. And then add some weight to that leg by adding a second line, maybe partially curved. And then for his feet, they're basically oval shapes. So make two oval shapes that will serve as the basic shape for the feet. All right. Now, let's see, he's in the coloring sheet, he's waving. So we'll, we'll draw one arm waving. So we need our elbow macaroni coming out to the side here. Remember the elbow macaroni? If you like macaroni and cheese, you know what that shape is, right? It's like an elbow macaroni noodle, all right? So there's the arm for the hand. We'll put a, a circle at the end to guide us as we draw the fingers. Okay, the thumb will be out here. One finger like this, and you'll just notice I'm making like little sausage shapes, little oval shapes that stick away, out from the hand. All right. His other arm, let's do another elbow macaroni. His other arm is holding a book. So let's draw a square. Let's make it a rectangle. Books are more like rectangles, I think. Give it some dimension by doing that. Two lines at the top. Now it's getting a little bit messy in there. Let me erase some lines so you can see what I'm doing. There's the front of the book. There's the spine of the book. There's the back part of the book. All right. So he's got his, his hand, and now I want to move that thumb. I want to move some thing. There we go. And now he's got the book in his hand. And on the coloring sheet it says A B C one two three. But what you could it could be, it could say anything. Carrots. It's a book called Carrots for Sale. <laughs> Carrots for sale. That's kind of funny. Now he, let's see, let's do the shoes. Use this oval shape. Let me check my, make sure you can see all this. Yep. Okay. So use the top oval for the top of the shoe and then come down, kind of flatten out the bottom, go back up to the heel. And to make it look like a sneaker, Make another line to create the sole, like that. And then they usually have those uh, rubber toes on them so your toes don't poke through your sneakers. And then you can do some random shoelaces. We'll get a little more detail when we do our inking. But again, oval down to the bottom, kind of flatten it out at the bottom. Make the sole with another line. The toe of the shoe, that white rubber or vinyl. A little circle on the side and we'll do our laces. Now, right now it does look like a triangle. It doesn't look so much like a carrot. So we want to do some rounding off and do a little bit more um, shaping to this triangle before we go to ink it. So we're going to round it here around it here and then they usually have these little sections they kind of grow in sections so it's kind of like making ovals curved lines curved line curved line right and curved line curved line and down to the bottom. And we're going to give this character a pair of pants with a belt buckle. It's oval shaped and in the middle, 
a letter R for reading carrot. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Reading carrot. See how we took that triangle shape and used curved lines to create that segmented look. So we can even bring in some lines from the side. When you see a carrot, it has those, grows in those little stages, right? So that's what we did. All right, let's get inking. Oh, I'm going to put a little horizon line behind him. Okay. So inking, where did my, oh, I've got a hundred pens here. Which one is the one I want to use? <laughs> okay. We'll do these loopy lines of leaves at the top. Remember, this probably isn't exactly what it looks like in real life, but cartooning, remember, is simplification, right? We're not drawing something to look realistic. All right, so let's see. Top of the carrot. There we go. Eyebrow, eyebrow. Let's do the glasses. One. Two. And if they're glasses, they might be connected. They would be connected by that bridge over the nose, which we haven't drawn a nose. Again, simplification. We don't need every single feature if we don't need it. I'm making these ovals a little thicker because, again, it's a pair of glasses. And we want to add a little bit of thickness to those frames, glasses frames, right? So that's what I'm doing here. All right. The stems out to the side. Pupil, pupil, remember that little white dot in the corner, we leave that, we leave it white, it represents a little glint, a glare, a reflection of light in the eye. We could even do the same on the stems of the glasses because the stems are plastic and they would reflect some light. Black plastic, right? So maybe at the top we leave a little glint on the top of the frame. All right. Now we come back, do this. Next section. And let's see, next section, except we'll leave a little opening for the arm. Thicken that up there on the outside. Just a little bit. And let's see. Arm. Arm. And belt, belt buckle, reading carrot. Let's see here. He's wearing pants that you could color any color. What color would you give him? What color pants do you think a carrot would wear? So he's, if he's orange, blue might be a nice color. Purple would be a good color that goes with orange. Of course, you don't have to color your carrot orange either. It could be any color you want, right? It's your drawing. Mouth is wide open except for that big front tooth. So let's color that in with our black ink. Big smile. And let's see now. Let's 
do a little book drawing here. Don't worry if it doesn't look perfect. It's not a big deal. Pages maybe on the edge, right? You see the little pages like that. Motion lines. Okay, let's come over here. And come up here. There he is. He's got his hand. Do his very cool sneakers. I didn't draw any jewelry on him. He could have a ring or a necklace. And I guess he would probably buy 24 carat. <laughs> <laughs> Caught you off guard with that one, didn't I? <laughs> 24 carat gold, get it? Yes. Snuck that one in on you. Funny. <laughs> one sneaker. Another sneaker. Okay. And his pants end there. And maybe these tiny little segment lines like a it might have to add some dimension to that I suppose and let's see horizon line behind and I think on the coloring pages there's some bushes back here just use your curve lines to create bushes and maybe over here I think I drew a flower use your curve lines to make a flower <laughs> All right, carrots for sale. Maybe we spell that out. Carrots for sale. A book about carrots for sale. Hmm. Wonder what that's about. How to sell your, your produce. <laughs> like farmers really do in real life, right? Carrots for sale. Someone buys them, right? Companies buy them, so deliver them to the grocery store so you can have them on your salads. Mm -mm. What's your favorite salad dressing? Maybe we shouldn't be talking about this around a carrot. <laughs> Silly that we're worried he might hear get suspicious and go tell the rest of, of the garden vegetables. <laughs> All right, let's see how that came out after we erase it. Not bad, huh? Look at that. Reading carrot. Oh boy. Hey, just... Uh, look what I got here. It's the actual coloring page. <laughs> can you see that? Let me see if you can see on the coloring page. You can put your name at the top. See ABC123 on this one. At the bottom it says Reading Carrot wants to know what your favorite book is. And then you write the title of your favorite book in there so you'll remember. You can color a bunch of these. Again, just download it at my website. Reading carrot. That was fun. A triangle shape used as a basis for the carrot. I hope you had fun drawing reading carrot today. <laughs> I know I did. So until we meet again, take care of yourself, be well, and have a good day. From Corny Creek Farms, this is Mr. Dave signing off. Till next time. <laughs>